number seven gunslinger of all time, Daryl LaMonica. Seven is Daryl LaMonica. Why? Gunslinger. Daryl LaMonica? Next. Daryl LaMonica is on the list of the top ten gunslingers? Holy cow! That shows you how many people don't know what they don't know. Yes, he was a gunslinger. He could throw it, and he could sling it. I love Daryl LaMonica. He was awesome. In the 60s and early 70s, Daryl LaMonica earned his reputation as our number seven gunslinger. But his nickname is second to none. Daryl LaMonica was the Mad Bomber. The Mad Bomber. He was a Mad Bomber. The 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 Mad Bomber. Fit him perfectly. Great nickname. The meticulously designed Oakland offense then began its precision bombing of Boston's defense. Gunslinger? For sure. He had been honed in Buffalo uh, behind Jack Kemp. Darrell LaMonica, a rookie from Notre Dame, has replaced the injured Jack Kemp. Buffalo trail. Whoops, they did. After four seasons, Buffalo defused the Mad Bomber. Darrell was clearly a guy that wanted to throw the ball. He was traded to the Raiders. It was the perfect situation for them. Al Davis has always believed in the vertical offense. Al Davis was at his absolute innovative best at that point. Hey, look. He throws one for Melinda Kopp, a fine catch at the 15. He's creamed at the 46-yard line of the chase. He was such a good fit for Al Davis that I think Al never got over Darrell LaMonica. Throw it anywhere, at any time. But he throws. Touchdown, Don't be afraid to throw it. It was a different era. I mean, that kind of game would never work today unless you had Mike Martz as your coach. He loved it. He loved going deep. Daryl Monica was nuts. He loved to throw it long. It was fun to watch. Defenses would have to open up and respect the deep threat. <laughs> Buffalo learned the hard way. If your name is the Mad Bomber, you pretty much have license to drop back seven steps and chuck that puppy up. First thing he would say, warm up because we're getting ready to go deep. The first play, it was a bomb. The second play, a bomb. The third play, a bomb. Anything that was under like 25 yards was an insult to his arm. Oakland's receivers were tailor-made for LaMonica's talents. LaMonica would drop back, and so many times, he'd just throw it deep, and Wells would run under it. They had warm Wells, and Daryl LaMonica, forget about it. LaMonica's back. Hey, look, he's throwing deep for Wells. Monica won more than 78% of his games as a starter. Only Otto Graham has done better. But LaMonica's basic game plan fell apart as defenses became more complex. He just couldn't get it. Don't worry about that. You just run your back. Those zones drove him crazy. We throw an interception. That's his weakness. <laughs> he didn't read the play right in the defense.